Howdy guys, Jake with Green Pro here. We want to talk today about a failing fill bed. Now we've done another video where we showed you how an absorption or fill bed works on the back of a conventional septic tank. And we use these models to do so. We put different types of soils in each one of these and showed you the different rates at which soil can absorb water. And that's the job of your absorption bed. That's the job of your fill bed is to take that water that's come out of the back of your septic tank and get it underground so that you can flush again. Now, we've got a really good soil in here, good sandy soil. It would be perfect for installing a septic system in. And we're going to add water to it like you just use water in your house. And what you're going to see in just a second is that flow starts to move through rather fast. Now, as you're using water in your home, that's what you want to happen. You want that water to move through that soil really fast. What you don't want to happen is that soil not absorb that water. And even though in a conventional septic system that was installed in great soil, it should work for a number of years, after three to five years, the amount of solid accumulation in your septic system gets over the recommended manufacturer limits and it starts letting little tiny particles of that wastewater go out into that absorption bed instead of the tank being able to hold it. It can't, it's at maximum capacity. And those little tiny pieces of particle over time build up in your fill bed and it clogs the pores of the soil. And what better way to show you this is to actually show you how it clogs the pores of the soil. So what have we done? We have harvested old septic. Septic that's been in a tank way too long. And you can see it's black, it's broken down as much as it can break down, and it's oily. It's shiny film. That oil will coat the pores of the soil. And we're gonna demonstrate that to you. You just saw one where the water went through very fast. Now we're gonna add a small amount, just coating just the top layer of this so-called soil, and we're gonna add water. And this water, you can see how much we're gonna add. Now we could wait a really long time. And I assure you that we added four times, five times more water to this sample. It's gonna be a very long time, if ever, that we see that water move through that soil. Why? Because this oily film has coated the soil and it's not allowing this water to penetrate into that soil. And that's what a failed absorption bed looks like. That is why we love the new product that we're pushing called Sludge Hammer, because it's a remediator. Its bacteria is actually designed to eat this black, nasty waste in your bed to get that water back to that soil so it can absorb and get your system back running. We've got a lot of videos on Sludge Hammer we got a lot of videos on how systems work, but now we've shown you directly how just a little bit of nasty, greasy sludge from not pumping your tank as often as you should or a broken bat wall outlet baffle can keep your septic system from working the way it was designed. Thanks, guys.